So in today's video, we're going to talk about Marvel. There's huge changes going to be revealed soon, if not already. And also Kevin Feige is going to have to say a lot at San Diego Comic-Con. So it's now making sense why Marvel Disney subpoenaed the MCU subreddit because it was so far ahead of time. If you remember back to, I think it was either February or March, although this subreddit got a lot of information right about Wakanda Forever, about Thor Love and Thunder, about literally every Marvel movie coming out. Word for word had the whole entire script of Ant-Man 3, but it predicted all these delays way ahead of time. Now, I've tried to dig out the actual subreddit post. I've found parts of it. This is why it's taken me a few days to actually post this video, but we're going to talk about a lot of other Marvel stuff because there's so much to talk about. But it makes sense why they've subpoenaed the subreddit because whoever was posting this stuff clearly is an insider at Marvel. So, yo, what is freaking good, YouTube? Wish you here if you are new around here. Make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the Marvel, Kaiju, Monsterverse, DC based content that I try to deliver on a daily basis. Good subscribe, channel done, notifications on. And let me know, are you happy with these delays? It's a good thing because Marvel needs a lot of time to build up to Secret Wars. Also, if you could, check us out on Instagram if you want to see the beautiful face behind the beautiful voice. Wish you. And also check us out on Twitter. Wish you G. Right. So, this subreddit post posted a lot of stuff ahead of time. And of course, everything couldn't have been right. But the main narrative was that they would be delaying the Kang's Dynasty and Secret Wars. Kang's Dynasty 2026, Secret Wars 2027. Now, I can't find the date of when this was posted, but I believe it was at least three or four months ago. They got the year right, and they even got the date right. Yeah, they got the date right. Okay, not the date, they got the month right. Now, that's the important thing here. May 27. And also, May 2026, they got the dates right. So there's a lot of movies that are moving. And predominantly, this has got a lot to do with the WGA writer's strike that's going on. And also, the actors could be striking as well come this summer. So Marvel's not going to be able to shoot or do reshoots on as many projects as they somewhat seem to believe they potentially could. Now, it's pretty wild for them to push Deadpool 3 forward by three months. That's pretty wild now blade that was revealed at san diego comic-con 2019 was it okay i might be wrong with that but the moral of the story is blade now moves to 2025 thunderbolts is pushing to 2024 christmas captain america 4 is moving to august of 26 2024 now this is never a problem because the problem they've had since Endgame came out is continuity, quality. They've not really had a narrative standpoint, a narrative story that actually goes somewhere. They push too much on to Jonathan Majors playing Kang. Rather than focus on just Kang the character, they focus too much on putting Kang absolutely everywhere to the point where they didn't leave themselves enough time to actually properly set everything up that is needed because I might not be the biggest comic book person you guys know this I'm completely transparent on this channel but they've got a hell of a lot of story to tell before we get to secret wars that does involve Spider-Man and a lot of other different characters we know we did a video the other day that nobody watched about Captain America 4 and Thunderbolts how basically they're gonna have to change a lot of them stories because the Thunderbolts is just looking like a Suicide Squad a wannabe movie predominantly if you ask me and also there's a lot of misleading reports out there that have came out recently so this is why I never ever report on things instantly when it breaks because you get fake news so a story broke recently about the rights have reverted back to marvel for the incredible hulk well that's actually factually incorrect and it's a lie it hasn't so what happened was loads of people ran the story either on twitter or tiktok or whatever saying yeah mark ruffalo can get his world war hulk series now he can get a movie mark ruffalo can do loads of different hulk roles can he no no not even close that's not really what's going on here I mean, eventually that will happen. It's kind of like the Spider-Man deal, realistically. So according to the internet, and according to the best information, like, why am I talking like that? According to the best information I could find on the internet, it actually drops like this, okay? 
Let's break it down. So the film was initially released and distributed by Universal June the 13th, 2008. And the company held the rights to the title for 15 years. Now, in a notable shift, the rights have reverted to Marvel Studio, leading to the film's release on Disney+. Plus. So everyone thinks, yeah, they can make, they can do all this Hulk stuff now. We can finally get the World War Hulk movie. We can finally get the maestro. And as you know, Captain America 4, we have Thunderbolt Ross, who is Red Hulk. So what is really happening here? Marvel Studios only has the rights specifically for Incredible Hulk, not to Hulk as a whole per variety support, meaning they don't have the rights to the Hulk. They have the rights for the Incredible Hulk. Hence why they are going to be putting the Incredible Hulk onto Disney Plus very soon. So that is why whenever stories break, I don't like to jump on it anymore because factually you end up getting a lot of misleading, misuninformed information going around. Eventually they probably will. But it's actually hard sometimes to break down what the information says because most of the time the information that drops on Twitter or TikTok or Instagram is factually incorrect. So according to the original Marvel Universal deal for the whole theatrical rights, the distribution rights have now reverted back. The distribution rights. If you understand what distribution means, that basically means they just have the right to distribute said movie realistically. They don't own the Hulk again. That is factually incorrect. I did get sent a bunch of videos and stuff and no. People need to wait until the real full death story comes out before jumping on something. Eventually they will hopefully get the rights back so we can see the World War Hulk movie and Maestro and every variant of the Hulk appear in some capacity in the MCU, hopefully during the multiversal side. But the issue is there's so many, oh, Geeks Worldwide previously reported in October 2021 that the World War Hulk movie is in development with a 2022 production date, but updates have been since scarce. Yeah, because they don't have the rights. But some people are saying they now have the legal rights to produce and distribute, but it's a bit unclear. But as far as we can understand here on the YouTube Wars 2 channel, just spoke about myself in the third person. They don't really have the rights. Universal only had the right to distribute it. So Marvel Studios would make the film, but Universal technically would determine the release and the marketing according to the internet. Marvel wants to do their own marketing, their own release date, their own way. They do not want to share the cut of any profits with anyone else. So I did come across this. They should just let Universal make a Hulk movie separate from the MCU by one of their Bloomberg houses. If Universal still has some of the dibs on it, standalone are working in DC. Yeah, never going to happen. They won't do that. That's not going to happen. So can they make their own movie? No. Am I debunking other people's statements? No. But what I am saying is don't report on information as soon as it comes out, because realistically, there is so much more information that debunks that. So is there really an update on the whole? No, not really. Because like we said, it's just the distribution rights to distribute something that was already made. Unless a new movie is made, I guess. But no, they haven't really got anything back as far as we can understand. So also in the news, the internet went into some kind of frenzy. I, I don't understand why, because it's literally just some release dates for some Sony Spider-Man. Well, not actually Sony, some Spider-Man dates. So breaking. I hate when people use breaking because breaking is like, you know, world disaster, not a freaking movie's coming out. Sony announced a new live action Spider-Man film will release June the 27th, 2025. And most people are predominantly thinking that will be Spider-Man 4 as Venom. Let There Be War Stew, Venom 3 is slated for something different. So realistically, the Hulk, the Hulk right is pretty much the same thing as the Spider-Man deal that Sony has with Disney. So you're not getting your World War Hulk movie anytime soon and you're not getting an Incredible Hulk 2 or 3. Although that would be cool unless Universal is the ones to make it because a lot of people don't realize although Tom Holland's Spider-Man is in the MCU you, it's actually a Sony Pictures, Columbia Pictures in collaboration with Marvel Studios movie. It's not actually, they're not actually Marvel movies. They are Sony movies in a roundabout way. Yeah, that is so freaking long winded. Oh, so in the new Venom 3 looks like it is slated to release November the 8th, 2024. Why did we say this? Because as far as I'm aware, 
It's either already in production or it's just about to go in production. But either way, it's looking like Venom 3 will come out next year and then Spider-Man 4 the following year. Across the Spider-Verse 2, which, which is called Beyond the Spider-Verse, is slated for next year, but that probably will be delayed. So yeah, it's going to be pretty cool to be a Spider-Man fan because there's also Madam Web, etc. coming out as well. Also in the news, let's go back to the first story about the leaks being right. That means Battle World is coming, etc. There is a massive slate that was leaked on the subreddit like three, four months ago that also had, I don't believe this part, it had Avengers Forever, July the 30th, which was literally after. It's very interesting because on this list, it also had World War Hulk on there. But it also said born as a series, but turned into a film due to budget issues and Marvel not having the right. So that's interesting. I'm not going to go over the full list, but also in the news, it's quite funny, is Spider-Man 4 was also slated for 2025 on this list. And it's looking like that's true. Also, it had Fantastic Four slated for 2025, even though... It was previously slated earlier in the year. So if you, I mean, I could drop it down below if you want, but a lot of these mandates for release dates are actually turning out to be true. So whoever was posting on behalf of the MCU subreddit, they definitely work for Marvel. So loads of cool stuff coming in the next few years. I'm glad they've delayed some stuff because they need so much more time after the poorly received Ant-Man 3. It looks like Jeff Loveness has left the project and is no longer writing it. So they had to delay the overall projects because they can't write anything at the moment legally. So it's going to push everything back at least three to six months because they can't write anything. They can't do reshoots unless they are already pre-written before this strike. It's looking like the writers are going to stay in this writer's strike for a minute. It's also looking like the actors will be going on an actor strike very soon. Hollywood's going to be a freaking mess for a few years. And I don't think there's going to be many releases after this year because they haven't filmed much for next year. Okay, outside of the Disney Plus shows, Marvel's not got much more coming that's already filmed. The same with DC, really. So like always, guys, check us out on Instagram. I wish you to see the beautiful face behind the beautiful face. Check us out on Twitter. Let's 2G. And I'll catch you in another video very soon, guys. Catch you later.